Hey there, welcome back uh, to my uh, YouTube channel and uh, the series of videos about the Apprentice S15E ready to fly airplane. In this video, I'm going to do something that's not in the book, but I think is important. Um, before I assemble an airplane, I like to make sure that everything is working. So I want to make sure that the radio is bound to the airplane and all the servos are centered. So, and also that the motor works. So the first thing I'm wanting to do, because I'm going to turn the motor on, and this thing I don't want to be spinning around in front of me here, I'm going to take the prop off. Now taking the prop off is the next, is the first thing you do before you install the nose gear anyways. So I'm going to take the prop off and leave it off, and then uh, put it back on later. So, there's a trick to taking this uh, nose cone off. You might twist it and pull it and it won't go anywhere, but you simply have to take and pinch this this um, piece, the black plastic uh, near the prop, just pinch it a little bit and it just pops right off. <laughs> so you don't need any tools or anything, don't mark up, don't use a screwdriver on it, just pinch this a little bit and it pops right off. Okay. And then the next thing we need is a... Um, I guess this is a 10 millimeter um, wrench. Okay, so you take, now be careful because this is sharp enough to maybe cut you. So it'll take a bit of effort here to, um, uh, that's actually not as tight as I would want it to be anyways. Um, somewhere along the line, I'm always gonna make sure that the um, prop is uh, tight. So this good a time as any. It probably wasn't tight enough for me. So don't lose the black uh, piece. Don't lose the nose cone. I'm going to put them inside here. There's a washer. Uh, leave that uh, washer with it. And then you can pull the prop off. Okay. Now the prop's off. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of the, the cowling everything on and take that off when we do the uh, nose gear. So the next thing I want to do <clears throat> is show you a feature of the radio. When you turn the radio on for the first time, uh, well, I already turned it on once before, but when, when it comes from the factory, the trims are all centered. And, they, and if you listen very carefully, I'm going to get close to the microphone here, you can hear a different tone when you click it. So I'm going to click this up twice, now back down twice, and the second click you'll hear a different tone. Hear that different tone? That different tone means it's in the center. Okay, The throttle trim should not be in the center. <clears throat> the, the throttle trim should be all the way down. So I'm going to take and pull this throttle trim right here all the way down to the bottom. It used to be the bottom had a different tone too, but I guess they took that away. Uh, maybe that was confusing for people. So if you want to get the throttle trim back to center or any of the trims back to center, you have to listen really carefully to the, ex the extra little different click um, for that. Now the purpose in that is with the throttle trim down and this down, that's the maximum, um, or I'm sorry, that's the minimum setting for the throttle. And very often, the speed controller inside needs that minimum setting. Okay, so now we're good to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. The next thing we want to do <clears throat> is connect the wings so that all the servos will center. Um, and uh, I'm going to turn the airplane around here to make it a little easier. <clears throat> so all the servos are centered. Now, I don't need to put the tail servos on because these servo... Uh, will center without a problem, but I want these to, to um, center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, there's probably some tape or something on this, I'm going to take that tape off, and there's probably some tape still on this one, yep, I'm going to take this piece of tape off. That leaves this thing, this um, push rod here, um, able to uh, move, okay? Then, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the wing. We're not gluing it or taping it or doing anything right now. We're just going to get this thing on here enough. 
like that. Uh, actually, I'm going to set it upside down like this. And I'm um, going to pull out the extra long um, Y connector. Okay, so I got the extra long Y connector, and I'll connect um, matching the colors of the Y connector to the colors of the lead from the servo in the aileron. Okay, so I'm going to push that together. Remember, it doesn't matter uh, left or right on this because you're using a Y connector. If you're not using a Y connector and you plug them in backwards, uh, you could crash your airplane on takeoff. So uh, this is a Y connector, so I'm not worried about the difference. I'm going to leave the wing upside down like this, and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and I'm going to watch to make sure these ailerons are all centered. Now, in fact, I think I'll, what I'll do is, let me see if you can... Right. Sometimes these are in different positions, and I want to make sure that all servos are centered before I connect any push rods. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm going to turn the radio on first. Make sure everything is good. Orange. Okay, set that down. Then I'm going to, I've got my battery sitting here, and I've got the, um, if you can see it or not, let me make sure you see. I've got the battery uh, connector uh, from the airplane hanging out underneath here. And there's no reason to do anything other than just plug it in and uh, let the battery rest in the tray down here. So I'm going to turn this on, okay, listen for tone, and I'm going to turn it on, and it'll give me the rest of the tones. Okay, so that means that the, the thing is armed, okay, before uh, I did this, I forgot to mention, you always put this switch in the disarm position. Now, that's extra safety because there's no prop, okay? But always when you turn this on, before you turn it on, you make sure this is in the disarm position. So if you do have a prop on there, it won't go anywhere. All right? So now I'm going to wiggle the ailerons. Okay. That's good. They're centered. I'm going to wiggle the rudder. This this one back here is moving. And I move, move the elevator. This one here is moving. So everything is moving. The other ones are moving. And I'm actually going to turn the the um, the arm switch to, to um, I guess it's called arm. Uh, arm and disarm. So I'm going to turn it to the arm and the the throttle is all the way back, the trim is all the way back, and the motor didn't move. That's good. I'm just going to move this slightly and listen for the motor to turn. Okay. So the motor is turning without the prop on. Motor's working. So electronically, this airplane is good to go. If it wasn't, I'd have to send it back to the factory, call them, whatever. So motor's good. All the servos are good. All the servos are centered. So now I can turn this off, unplug the battery, and I always do it in this order. Turn the switch off, unplug the battery, and now that that's off, the last thing you do is turn this off. Okay. So that accomplished two things. It centered the servo, all servos. <clears throat> And it made sure that the aircraft is working mechanically and electrically, that all the servos are functioning, the motor's functioning, everything looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to leave the prop off um, for now, uh, just to make it easier. Um, one, to put the nose gear on, and two, when you're working around the airplane, sometimes you bump into the prop, that's not nice. So, <laughs> chances are you won't forget to put the prop back on. So... Um, because it won't go anywhere without it. So I'm going to leave that off for most of the rest of the build here, and I'm only going to put it back on when I'm ready to actually uh, test the airplane when it's complete. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.